Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. And a little while ago, On One released the updated version of No Noise AI. Now, I hadn't played with it until today, and I was kind of just sitting in my office. I was a little bored. Mr. Waffles was asleep. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to take pictures of him while he's sleeping. My office is pretty dark. All right. So I'm using the Sigma 105 f 2.8 lens and you can see what my settings were on the camera. I'm using a Sony a7 R4, which is a 61 megapixel sensor. And this is a 61 megapixel file that we're looking at. Normally, whenever you look at a photo with high megapixels, if you pump that ISO up, then the noise is going to be extremely, extremely annoying, right? And I'm, again, by no means saying that in this photo that it's perfect. I'll show you what the original looks like here in a second. I just want you to see what this new model is actually capable of here inside of on one. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to click on adjust and we're going to look at the before and after here on both sides. So it's still got to load in. It's uh, taking a little bit of time here, but it's going to load in. I promise. Okay, so now it's loaded in. If you look on the right side, this is the noise reduction uh, that is applied to the image. And then on the left side, we have the actual uh, original noise that was in the image. This is, in my opinion, really, really good. We're gonna really look here at the eye. I wanna see if I can, there we go. So we can split the eye right down the middle here. Sorry, Mr. Waffles, splitting your eye. Look at how much it's cleaning up that noise in there. Now I did have to play with the color noise a little bit because on one does seem to favor the greens whenever it's modifying its uh, noise reduction. But overall, this to me is a really, really good uh, render. And yes, there are some artifacts on the eye. Now I am zoomed in right now at 100%, all right? If you look down here at the bottom, it's down to 100. But if I click and just zoom out, because this is personally how I like to look at my images whenever I apply um, noise sharpening or noise reduction, I'm sorry, because this is the way that I'm going to view the image and most people are going to view the image. So if it looks good from here, then I think we're doing pretty good. And I get it, that's not the most accurate way of doing it. But when it comes to photo editing, you get to choose how you want to do your photo editing and what is the best workflow for you. And this is it for me. Like I said, it's not perfect, right? If I go before and after with this, you can see that, you know, maybe depending on what I'm going for, that the original file would be good. Now, I'm not making this about Sony and, you know, I the sensor is always a question, but I guess this is just a testament that our cameras are just really, really good now that I can shoot a 40,000 ISO image and get it cleaned up inside of the software. And that's really what I wanted to highlight. So using the new 2024 high detail uh, algorithm for the no noise AI is just amazing. And so if I apply that because I like it, then it's going to be good to go. So here's what I want you to do. Let me know in the comment section if you have been taking high ISO photos and testing out this new uh, 2024 no noise AI algorithm, because I think that you might be surprised at what you'll get out of it. If you got questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.